Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Denae and here on this channel we discuss all things lifestyle with an emphasis on style. And so today I am bringing you one of my favorite types of videos and that is my luxury and contemporary wish list 2023. What I intend to do at the beginning of the year is to kind of lay out the wish list that I have for the year and then throughout the year as I acquire some of the pieces, revisit the list, see if those things on there are still something that are sparking joy, something that I think um, can be incorporated into my wardrobe and if it's something that I still want to actively work towards getting. And I realized that a lot of focus has been on my wardrobe itself, um, making sure that I had a lot of classic pieces, things that really made my wardrobe easier to manage. And so what I'm noticing now is because I've leaned more towards the clothing aspects of it, I have not been focusing on the accessories. So anyways, let me stop babbling. Let's get directly into the video because I know that's what you're here for. Okay, so this is gonna be a mix of contemporary and designer, heavy on the designer, but like I said, there's not as many larger purchases. So I have been really craving Dior and going into the store. I've been really eyeing a scarf. I love a good silk scarf. I'm a hat girl already. And just in my mind, I don't have my go-to silk scarf to be by the pool and to be on the yacht and to be and the French and Italian Riviera or the Amalfi Coast and you know I'm driving a car with the with the top down and the air is going through my 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 hair. I feel like I'm missing that. And I don't know why I've not incorporated that. But really I want the classic pattern. I've been looking on the website and I haven't seen exactly what I want. These type of accessories I want to go into the store and see if maybe they are something like inspiring that's gonna be there but really I want the classic uh, Dior print and I want it in their beautiful blue um, before I start really building out the rest of my scarf collection so that's number one the second thing I've been wanting is some Dior earrings and I didn't know if I wanted to do um, like a proper CC earrings first or if I wanted to do, do Dior but I feel like Dior is a little bit more not not as known obviously everyone knows the uh, Chanel logo but I have always been obsessed with the double-sized pearls and pearls are actually really in right now I'm wearing pearls my favorite earrings right now are these pearls like cluster earrings so to do the double pearl I think it's just a classic Dior statement and I even thought about the Ja Dior um, little spelled out under that and do like maybe a mix matched earring but I think it's a classic look I love it I don't know if anyone's still interested in it um, but I think it's really cute and then something that has been on my wish list for a very long time is actually the sock du jour and I have been going back and forth do I want to get that do I want to get the Antigona like what am I liking more and I have loved this piece since like before I was getting into Birkins because I thought Birkins were just hideous like you know I feel like Birkins the love of Birkin is very similar to like drinking wine like you start with like a Moscato and you know it's super sweet and then you like work your way up and now you you know now that you're an avid wine drinker you can't drink Moscato anymore right so you you, you get the love that um, you, you just get you get the craftsmanship of a Birkin, right? I feel like I don't have to sell a Birkin to anyone. Um, so anyways, I've still always loved the Sac de Jour, but I was on the fence of what, like, was the all black too plain, the mock croc, if like that was too bold to be like an everyday piece. But I've it's been literally, I think two years now, and I really want this back, so it's the very top of my list. And it's the perfect size because I'm missing a mid-size top handle black bag in my um, collection. Um, so since we're still on bags, I have been in love with the Celine box bag for a very long time. I really like their warmer colors though. And you can get a very like affordable pre-loved version on it um, of this bag. I really want it in like a brownish color. Um, but I'm also really missing like a black proper shoulder bag in my collection and I do like what like 
the new logo, the Celine Triumph logo um, that's in stores right now. So I haven't decided which way I'm gonna go. On my prior list, I have had some of the Tory Burch designs like as an option um, however that logo is really big and so that's what kind of makes me shy away from doing that we're figuring it out we're figuring it out now together this is uh, a community <laughs> so i need your help tell me what what do you think on this for the luxury bags that's honestly all that i'm eyeing for this year i think that's more than enough like two three handbags like we're good so let's move into the jewelry piece of it so i went into store i went into tiffany's my name is tiffany and so i just felt like very connected and like my first like piece that i buy for myself um really needs to be from tiffany's and i don't want that for me um i tried on these tea bracelets which I'm obsessed with I feel like a lot of people don't have them some people obviously in the social media streets do but you don't see these pieces a lot and oh my god I tried this one on with the diamonds I'm gonna put the price on the screen right now and it's gorgeous like it's it's breathtaking but it's not like an everyday piece that I want to have these diamonds <laughs> on um, you know just in my day-to-day -day life so it really doesn't make sense for like this to be this huge splurge um, but I really just want like a classic gold bangle I want to get my little wrist together um, and I've obviously or honestly I've been looking at the juke um, so the Justin Clow over at Cartier and I know I know it's kind of overdone like that and the love bracelet, but I do feel like the nail bracelet is a little less overdone. It's still overdone and I still want it and I don't care. I'm gonna get it in the rose gold because the rose gold is good for this skin tone. Let's move on. I just realized that is my luxury like wish list for, for jewelry and for handbags and accessories on the luxury part. I'm, look, I'm doing a really good job at narrowing stuff down. I'm proud of me, so. All right, so I'm gonna end the video here. If you liked what you saw today and you made it to this far in the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that we can continue to make this kind of content that we all enjoy. Um, and also, you know the spiel. Follow me on all of my socials. I'm over on Instagram. I post there every, pretty much every day. So you'll get up-to-date content there. If you need um, any links to any of the products that I mentioned, anything that I link will be linked in my Like to Know It page. So make sure you follow that over there and everything is at Tiffany Danae. So I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Take care.